Three, two, one, let's go. Good day, my name is Lucky Luck Luke. You can catch me on Twitch TV slash Lucky Luck Luke 2. And uh, I'm just going to make a tutorial video for the Scion for Sword of the Stars of the Pit. Um, this is my, I think my fourth tutorial I am making. So let me talk a bit about myself if you haven't seen any of my other videos. Um, so I've played, uh, I've been streaming the pit on Twitch for a considerable time, long, uh, considerable time, and uh, have beaten uh, beaten it with pretty much every character on hard, uh, and a few on insane. Uh, beaten Scion insane, Scout insane, Engineer insane, and. Uh, Ranger Insane? Yes. And gone pretty deep with most of the other characters on Insane. So I played this game a fair amount, so I'd like to share some of the things that I've learned. And if you're a newish player or looking to learn stuff about the game, hopefully you will uh, benefit from this and my other videos. So, yeah, today we're going to, uh, well, for this video, we're going to be doing the Scion. So let's pop in it and take a look at him. So, as you probably would guess, the Scion is a character that's based around. Uh, Sonic abilities. He was introduced when uh, Sonic abilities were first introduced into the pit for mind games. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at his stats and stuff. So he starts uh, with 30 might, 45 finesse, 65 brains, 75 power. So he has high power, pretty high brains, uh, yeah, I'd say low finesse, and extremely low might. So uh, we'll talk about and uh, some of Let's take a look at his starting equipment. So he starts with a vibro blade, uh, the laser pistol, and a cell suit, which is pretty darn good starting equipment. I'm gonna take off her armor before I forget. Um, one of my strategies uh, is to not wear my armor for the first few floors, and it's to try to save the durability on it to make it last as long as possible, because you would rather have your armor later rather than sooner. And yeah. So in the Viper Blade and the Laser Pistol, pretty powerful stuff. Uh, so he starts with pretty good starting equipment. He's got a bit of insta healing. He's got a med kit and uh, two MP grenades, pretty awesome. A uh, knockout grenade, which is a bit unreliable, but pretty great when it does work. And a one regular grenade. So, and not much food, three soul rations, which is, yeah, yeah, we'll say low. Um... All right, we'll talk about uh, more of his strengths here. So I guess his biggest strength uh, would be access to psionic skills. So he starts with heal, he starts with manipulation, he starts with TK fist, and he starts with life sense, starts with psi armor, and psi shield. So he starts with a pretty good uh, array of um, psionic skills. He already has them unlocked, whereas a lot of other characters need to invest skill points into them to get them unlocked. Um, every level he gets uh, psi 6 skill points per level, which he can invest into psi skills or various other skills. Uh, he gets... I don't remember how many stat points he gets. I think he gets 2. Um, we'll confirm that once we do level up during the tutorial, but I'm pretty sure it's 2. He gets quite a bit of uh, psi points per level. He starts with a rather large psi pool and uh, has really great psi regen per level. On a side note, uh, each diff on the higher difficulties, the psi regen actually is lower. Uh, just a random fact. <clears throat> Some of his weaknesses, uh, well, another one of his strengths is that he starts with a very high melee skill, so you can punch pretty much everything for the few, first few fours, depending on what difficulty you're playing. And I guess think that's it for his uh, strengths. Uh, some of his weaknesses is uh, first weakness I'd, I'd mention is uh, he has very low might, which makes you susceptible to diseases and poisons. So you got to be careful for that. Um, he also has very well. One of his strengths is that he has very high power, which means you naturally can resist things like uh, psionic attacks, causing fear and paralysis, which is quite important. And on top of that, you have a psi shield to help you help protect you versus that. Uh, he's got pretty uh, poor combat skills, which are one of his uh, pitfalls, other than a high melee skill. He's got a rifle skill of 1, a melee skill, uh, an assault weapon skill of 1, a pretty good pistol skill. His blade is not that great either, and he starts with a blade, so it's kind of important to try to get that up. It's you can't. It's hard to get it up naturally, but yeah, you can't really invest points into that, but we'll get into leveling up later on. 
Uh, very low foraging. Uh, that gets up naturally pretty high, but having it low at the beginning makes it quite hard to find food at the start. Um, so food is actually a pretty high problem on the Scion, mostly because every time you use a Scion skill, let's say a Life Sense for example, um, it will drain one food point every time you cast something. So that's one thing to keep in, keep in mind. Because he's relying on his Psyonk skills, he has a pretty high um, food consumption rate. He also starts with, because uh, his might is so low, he starts with only 300 food in his belly. And uh, with these only three salt forest rations, sometimes you can find yourself quickly in a situation where food is a huge problem. Um, he has also relatively low inventory space, very hard to carry stuff around, um, which means uh, that is... Uh, when you do level up, I suggest you put points into Might. But there's actually other strategies that I will mention when I do level up. Um, we'll get into that later on. Uh, he starts with pretty low health, and his health per level is lower than a few other classes. I think it's lower than lower than the Marine, obviously. I think it's lower than the, the Engineer as well. Maybe the same or lower than the Scout. Uh, I, I don't have all of the comparisons perfectly memorized, but uh, I know generally... Uh, that's just a general update, as a general update, general info as to his health pool. Um, he does not start with a lockpick set, which is actually very important. So it's really hard to find new gear on him. It takes a while for you to get uh, to be hopefully find or craft lockpicks, and uh, also his mechanical skill is not that great. So opening up the uh, neither is his lockpick skill. So opening up lockers, weapon lockers that you find early on, becomes quite difficult. Um, he starts with pretty strong armor, uh, stealth suit. Kind of weird. He starts with the stealth suit. I always thought that the scout should start with the stealth suit, not him, not the uh, scion. But it's uh, got really good durability, uh, pretty good armor, and uh, apparently it makes it harder for them to see you. But uh, you don't really see that effect come in, come into effect too often. Uh, stealth is not a huge factor in uh, the pit, but it does come into consideration sometimes. And I think that's it for his strength and strengths and weaknesses. Oh, there's one more I want to mention. Uh, his weaponry, both his viral blade and his the laser pistol, are both reliant on energy cells. So that's a type of ammo that uh, early on, especially, you do not find much of. Uh, enemies like oh, a lot of the uh, the other human classes, especially, they all start with weapons that have uh, pistol rounds, and pistol rounds something you find quite a bit of. So because he's reliant on solely energy cells, your uh, f as ammunition, <coughs> as ammunition, it can run out very quickly. So let's get started. We're going to go through the first few fours. So one of the first things I'd like to mention for the Scion is that um, you kind of want to spam life sense um, on him. One thing to note is every time you use a Scionic ability, there's a chance. I believe it's possibly based on brains, but there's a chance that you will get a skill up uh, as you use it. So one thing I like to do early on, it kind of gets a bit too hard to do later on because you need that side pool, but for the beginning you generally have more side points than you know what to do with. So early on I suggest you start spamming life sense and maybe even manipulation uh, just to try to get skill ups. Now this doesn't come without a cost because every time you cast a skill it drains just a bit of food from you, but I think it's totally worth um, hoping to get a skill up through this method. Um, it's very important to unlock Fear and Psy Drain on the Psionic. These are two skills that are extremely valuable, so you want to work towards these two skills as soon as possible. So on the first few floors, one thing you, first few floors, one thing you want to probably do is uh, well, one, spam life sense. Uh, <clears throat> And two, uh, you just can just pretty much punch everything, whether with your mind <laughs> or with fists. So this is a perfect target to use DK Fist. Sadly, did not kill him. Um, these things are kind of trouble. Uh, hard, they have a high, uh, high dodge rate, which makes them pretty hard for the uh, Psionic to deal with. I'm going to use another uh, DK Fist here. Finish them off. Those things give a ridiculous amount of XP. I think the XP gains on the Scion are good uh, compared to, like, let's say the Marine. I don't know how off the top of my head. I know it's certainly less than the the Engineer, uh, 
I don't know how it compares to the scout. It's probably similar to the scout. So one thing to note is uh, when you do level up, you probably do not want to level up right away. Uh, try to try to save your level up for when you actually need the healing or if you need the side points. So because you level so quickly early on, that's a reason why you're able to uh, simply spam spam your psionic skills like pretty freely. Although there's been a recent nerf uh, to psionic skills, and they increased the cost of all the skills, sadly, which makes psionic users have a bit of a tougher time. So generally, I, I usually would not level up yet, but uh, I'm going to level up just for the sake of the tutorial to uh, show you guys quickly what my leveling strategy is. So let's level up here. So I think uh, one thing I like to do first, uh, I think when you look at this, you generally, the first thing you want to do is get my might up there because it's so low. But actually what I like to do first on the Scion uh, is I like to get Finesse up to 50 first. The reason I like to get Finesse to 50 uh, is because his um, Laser pistol requires a finesse of 45. You often get into a situation where you're diseased or poisoned, and because you're diseased or poisoned, they will reduce your finesse below 45, making you miss like crazy with this thing. That often it will make you waste energy cells or simply just get you killed. So I would definitely strongly suggest getting finesse first to 50. After getting it to 50, um, you can either keep investing into finesse to get it up to 60, which is a critical point to get, because uh, there's uh, mostly the laser carbine, which is a common weapon you find, um, requires 60 finesse. But you could possibly just wait and first get some skills into might, because this low might can really, really uh, be a problem uh, as far as disease, uh, mostly for disease resistance, I guess is the most important part. So what I would suggest uh, for leveling up, I would get to finesse to 50, maybe get uh, might to 40. And at that point, it may depend on what lo what weapons you find. A lot of weapons require like I have a might requirement of around 50-ish or something like that. So if you find a weapon that needs high might, then you might want to just keep going uh, might. If you found a laser carbine early on, you're probably going to want to invest into finesse. So it's kind of hard to say which one is better. But at the very least, I would quickly get finesse to 50 and then uh, invest might. Uh, for uh, not only being able to use weaponry well, but also to get more inventory space. So the Scion gets six skill points. Uh, what are you going to do with these skill points? Well, a lot of them you want to invest into Scion skills. Um, you can, there's a lot of flexibility here, and a lot of it comes down to preference. So what I like to do is Mech Empathy for sure. I think there's no debate in that. Uh, mech Empathy is an amazing skill. Uh, it takes a long time for you to get unlock anything that's really good. Shutdown's not that great, so it's kind of a large investment. But once the main skill you want to get here is sabotage, uh, an amazing Sionk skill. Damages robots like crazy, and robots are probably the, uh, the most troublesome enemy in the game. I would say. Now the rest is like I said, it's very debatable. I personally do not like the manifestation tree, uh, mostly because of duplicate. I do not like the skill. I think it's very unroguelike. Um, mana is pretty cool. It won't carry you, give you a nice little food boost. It's not too far away, you know. Uh, so if you're suffering a lot with food gains, then uh, you could avoid it. Uh, fire is a lot of fun, though. Uh, that's one skill that's actually pretty fun to use. So it's a fun tree. Uh, if you're a new player, definitely I uh, would probably invest in the mana skill. Um, and if you're not if you're not a new player, then well, you know what you want. <laughs> so uh, another tree you can you could possibly invest in is the reduction tree. Um, if you feel like you're playing and you're having food problems, then going for metabolic control is a possibility. But it does take quite a while to get it. Um, you have 35 points to go, um, so it'll take you about 15, 16 levels, I'll say, to get access to it, which isn't too bad. And and then at that point, it's probably a good point to. Uh, It'll probably be a good point to to start using it if you're having food problems. So that is an option uh, to go for. I do not like uh, going for that though. Um, Boar mine is an option too. Uh, Puppet is amazing, but the Boar mine tree is not so good anymore. Um, it used to be because of Paralyze, but they nerfed Paralyze to the ground. It's not a very good skill anymore. Berserk is a lot of fun though. Um, 
you could possibly invest uh, just a few points just to unlock Berserker. There are a few uh, situations where Berserk is really good. Um, Life Train is not so good, but again, it's sometimes it's great. Certain enemies great. Puppet is amazing, but it's oftentimes you will complete the entire game and you will not be able to get to more mind high enough to use it. Um, I would generally not not even invest in more mind uh, at all. Uh, there's a lot of points to go in. Other points you can go in. I used to not level up telekinesis. I used to just let it level up naturally, but I feel like <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like you really should put points into it. The reason I say that is because uh, Psy Storm, a uh, Strap Storm, is absolutely amazing, and is a skill that you should try to uh, unlock as quickly as possible. So you kind of waste skill points. You could you kind of waste skill points putting into it, but you unlock it quickly. Empathy is the other one. Uh, definitely level this up until you get Psy Drain. Once you get Psy Drain unlocked, you should stop. But you need the Psy Drain ASAP. It is an amazing skill. Uh, it help you sustain your side pool very, very much. So this allows me to float a few, a few other points. I will not level up anything else until it's up to 45. Um, forging is probably something you're going to want to invest in. You could um, invest a point right now. Actually, not that I rethink it. Investing a point of forging right now is probably worth it. Because um, I directly need forging to access the rot piles. And you find a few rot piles earlier on. So I think uh, investing uh, points, this is one of the exceptions where I would put points into something before 45, um, just to get that forging up uh, as quickly as possible. But I wouldn't, uh, yeah, so forging is something you can, uh, because the Scion has quite a quite a few problems with food, I think it's worth it. And we're going to float these two points, I don't really like spending points into anything that costs two. So we're going to float the rest of the points, but eventually you probably want to invest into mechanical. Uh, there's a, really a lot of things there. Uh, a lot of good crafting uh, recipes that require mechanical skill. So eventually you probably want to get mechanical and uh, you may even, depending on what weapon you find, like if you find an assault weapon you're probably going to have to put a few points into it pre-45 because it's so low that you're going to miss like crazy. Same thing with the rifle, um, you're probably going to have to invest it. But I would not invest points into these when they cost two. Try to wait till it at least costs one. Uh, yeah, so I think, uh, and eventually if you can, Afford to uh, biotech is extremely important. Maybe not pre-45. Um, you can actually probably get away with uh, investing one or two points before 45. But also try to get it uh, after 45 if you have a few points floating. I think it's very much worth uh, investing into that. So that's the Scion. Uh, yeah, so that's the, my Scion leveling up skill. So we're gonna get a bit further um, into the pit. And then that'll be the end of the tutorial. Not too long after. So like I said, keep spamming that life sense. Um, hopefully you can get a level skill up. Sometimes you'll never get a skill up. Sometimes you'll get you know four skill ups points from it. Uh, I think it's worth the risk though. Um, there's not much risk involved right now. Like I said, your side pool is high enough that you will not. You'll have a really hard time simply using all of it because you level up so quickly. So you can feel free to spam a lot of skills early on. And then later on, uh, you will have to be a bit more stingy. So a general strategy if you're doing the my whole strategy where you're not wearing your armor, it's a good idea to start a new floor with your armor on. And because of the stealth suit, it actually helps you not aggro as many enemies when you start a floor, I believe. So disease sucks, so we're going to fist the guy. Didn't kill him. I'm gonna take a risk and hopefully finish off with a punch. And the risk did not pay off. So uh, I'm gonna take my armor off because there's nothing too scary here. Hmm. Probably should not have let this guy uh, sci. Th these bats actually turn psionic from you. Um, every hit. I think it's not a big deal, but I probably should not have let him drain so much. So like I said, disease is a huge problem. It's actually a big deal. Um, I shouldn't have not have taken that risk. It's been a while since I played Sion, but I probably should not have taken that risk because now I need to use like three of these uh, medkit charges, at least three, to, to get rid of this disease to get down to a proper level. So that was a lot of wasted healing. Um, but I definitely should not have taken that risk there. That was a mistake. 
and it's still getting disease. Uh, it's still getting worse. Uh, I left it at level one to try to get lucky and fight it off. We're gonna let it get to level three and then try again to fight it off. And uh, we may simply die of disease here because uh, it's that risk I took. But I like taking risks early on. Um, I feel like it's worth it. That that risk did not pay off at all. Um, And this disease is probably going to end up killing me. <laughs> Just going to do a few more floors, uh, a few more rooms, and call it. This place has me rattled. This place has me rattled. Right. So a little strategy you can kind of do with uh, well, crazed Tarkas or a lot of uh, a lot of other enemies. Uh, I think yeah, she can turn around and almost kill me. But uh, yeah, if you just heard that sound there, that means she, uh, I did aggro it. Um, apparently the stealth suit is not really working. Oh, I'm not wearing it, but uh, so sometimes you can sneak up to them. It's best to try to melee these if you can. But uh, unfortunately, as you just saw there, I did not get the chance. Yeah, she's probably gonna kill me here. Right? We died, but that's okay. Uh, like you said, this goes to show how um, I took a risk there. I tried to heal, uh, and I was hoping that the heal would uh, kick in before the bullets got to me, but it didn't work. Um, but like I say, the way I play, I play pretty risky early on. That was like, well, mostly the disease part um, was too risky. But uh, yeah, we just died. That's the pit. But that's gonna end the tutorial for the Scion, and. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, catch me next time for the next tutorial. Again, my name is Lucky Luck Luke. Catch me on Twitch at Lucky Luck Luke Two on Twitch TV. Uh, so hopefully you come stop by, say hey when I am streaming. But uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch.